What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Dead Life Sanctuary and a happy Valentine's Day. Yes, I thought I was finally able to do a Valentine's Day video on time for Valentine's Day. It's not a cinematic like I wanted to begin with because I couldn't think of a really good story that wasn't copying off of my old story that I had for my old weapon. But this for this video I have a sword, a shield, and a mask that I made, all three, almost like the St. Paddy's Day video. Except I think I made a bit of an improvement on my designs in general because I have the proper tools to do them now. And, uh, so, yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you is the mask. I don't really have a name for it because it was kind of like a last-minute thing. So I think I'm just going to call it the Heartless. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe yeah, I'll just call it the Heartless. Okay, so this is the mask. Looks like shit because, uh, I guess from where I sandpapered the mask, I forgot to, uh, smooth sand it before I did it, and then I put the clear coat on after I painted it, and it just turned out really, really crappy looking. So this is just a crappy mask. Uh, I'm not really too proud. I just tied it. I didn't even bother singeing it like I wanted to. I just tied it because I really gotta redo this completely. And I think I'm just gonna get a new mask and redo it that way because I mean the design's pretty easy. In case you guys didn't notice. But so yeah, this uh, the red and black detail is gonna relate to the sword and the shield that I have. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna put a like a, a red film right here in front of the eye and have a red LED light shining down. But I figured what's the point of doing that if I'm doing this video during the day? So yeah, that's why I didn't do that, although it would be, would be a really, really good idea. But I'm still doing it for my main channel, Mask, which I'm going to be working on soon because I have all the stuff to do it. So there's the Mask, the Heartless, I guess. Now this, I'm going to show you the sword first. Well, actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to show you, oh. I'll show you the shield first. The shield is called Blackheart, and uh, this is probably one of the best shields that I've ever made. Uh... <laughs> It, it looks really, really cool. I like it. And this is a buckler. It's made to the exact diameter of an actual buckler. You, like, if you were to look up the diameter, I think it's like 18 inches all the way around. That's what it said anyway. So I made it 18 inches all the way around. But bucklers, normally you put it in your fist. Like you hold it like, you know, you hold it like this like in front of you. But this one, I didn't do that because it's got a little bit of weight to it. Plus, I didn't have the technique to pretty much drill out the bevel that's in there. The, the dome shape for the fist to be able to just sit in. So I wasn't worried about that. So I just made it like an actual shield, except it's still a buckler. So what I can do is back here, I have it. It's where it's got two leather. I got leather right here in the handle, and I got leather right here as a brace. The brace is not adjustable because I didn't have the right materials to do that, so I didn't do that. And I do have the foam mat. It's a cushion my arm. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Blackheart. And this is probably one of the best shields that I've ever made. I'm extremely happy with it. Extremely, extremely happy with it. Minus the little, the small defects from the permanent marker being sprayed off from uh, the, the glaze clear coat that I put on here. But I think it turned out really well. What I used, I used red paint. I outlined the red paint in black permanent marker so it adds like a, a depth look almost. And then in the, the wood right here is ebony wood stain. So... Yeah, but the wood right here is ebony wood stain, and then this is the red paint, and then like I said, the black permanent the market outline. So, yeah, I pretty much did that with the whole thing. It's two different woods. This wood, I think, is either poplar or mahogany, whatever was at uh, Home Depot when I got it. I think it was poplar, but this is a piece of poplar on top of just regular shelving wood. Uh, I'm pine, I'm guessing. It's like a really, it's, it's a weak wood, but I'm, I'm not really worried about that because I'm not going to be smashing it against anything and nothing's going to be hitting me. So it's mainly for aesthetic purposes, but you can use it. It's more of a decoration. You can't even really use it. I mean, this sword would definitely go right through this because it's just not made for that. So, this is just for, specifically for Valentine's Day. So, and I could hang this as a wall piece if I wanted to, which is really nice. And that's what I try to do with all my shields. I try to make them look like a wall piece. And I'm going to fix up my St. Patty's Day shield so it'll look even better hanging on the wall also. But yeah, so there's this one. It's got the leather straps on the back, one for the handle, and one for the arm brace right here. Uh, this was just spare leather that I had gotten from uh, AC Moore. And this is just a regular foam mat. I didn't glue the mat on either. It's not glued on. It's being held down by the leather and these two screws right here. So I didn't need to apply glue to it. But these, however, I did put glue on because the screws that I have, like I say, that this screw right here and this screw right here, it kind of went through. Well, no, no, this screw right here, yeah, they went through. So I had to put these little specks of foam mat down just so it wouldn't stab me. So I'm not too worried about that because you're not going to be looking at the back. So there's that. That is Blackheart. And this is probably one of the best swords that I've ever made. Let me get the dust off real quick. And I had literally just finished all of this pretty much yesterday. It's pretty much when I finished it. Well, no, no. It was the day before yesterday. My bad. So, uh, yeah. So I finished it. And this is what it looks like. <sighs> I like it. 
It's got a harpoon type thing right here with the barbs. Uh, this has got a, just a spear tip point, and this right here is made to the exact length of a short sword because short swords are normally found with bucklers. I tried looking it up, and I guess pretty much what I got short swords and bucklers. So it's got uh, this is uh, this is poplar as well. Everything, every piece of wood in here is poplar. There's no regular shelving. It's all poplar. Uh, it's layered right in between here to fill in the gap that was in between these two pieces of wood. I stained it ebony and I painted it red. Same with this one, stained it ebony. And this is just a little red heart jewel that I added on there. And this has a stabbing tip at the bottom, which is really nice. I really like it. Uh, adds like a nice detail to the sword. Okay, so everything here is handmade, um, hand sanded, hand carved. Every little thing. Uh, the handle is perfect. It fits so nice in the hand. It's unreal and for like comfort. You can even grab this if you're if you're finger, if your hand's like mine. So you like to have a grip at the top. This is like perfect because you can hold it right there. I mean, if you're if you like to hold it at the bottom or in the middle right there, you can. And this is the pommel, obviously. So you can use this a two-handed or one-handed. But this is a short sword, and it is double-sided. So this is black spray paint with a gloss over top of it. Got a harpoon, got a spearhead tip. Pretty much, I just cut these notches. Otherwise, it would be all the top, and it would curve in like this instead of going in and then straight down. It would curve like that. Not not a typical short sword design. But I wasn't going for typical, I was just going for pretty much length and measurement. So, with that being said, let's get the testing the weapon out. I'm extremely proud of it, so uh, I'm excited to see how it's going to do because I haven't tested it yet. So, let's get to that. Test. I have two separate bottles because of the barbs. I don't know if the barbs is going to drag this thing back or not. It probably will. If I'm quick enough, it won't. But the first test is I'm going to stab it like I do with almost every single thing that I have. It feels like that's loose. Anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to stab it. And then with the other bottle I have behind me, you guys probably can't, or you can see it. I'm going to, I'm going to cut with the cutting edges. Alright. So here we go. Ready? That was a success. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Uh, very nice. Alright, now I'm going to cut it. Now I'm going to do my traditional right swing because I'm terrible at left swinging. I don't know why, I just am. But traditional right swing. Try to get it down low so I can get better leverage on it here. Ready? I'd say that turned out pretty good, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, by the way, this is me being a badass. Yeah, I'm a fucking badass, you know. Ugh. See you guys next time. Happy Valentine's Day.